It's such a knockoff. How do you knock off a coffee? What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week I have my sister Allie with me. Go check out her channel. We're gonna be trying a bunch of knockoff snacks. So I've been like grocery shopping and noticed a lot of knockoff versions of snacks that we used to eat growing up or at least me well probably even you so today i decided we're actually gonna go buy some of them and i couldn't buy all of them because there's actually quite a lot but these are actually not like the bad knockoff versions i hope because these are actually from like the bigger supermarket companies so let's just get started yay <laughs> For some reason. Okay, anyways. So the first thing we're gonna try is the knockoff Oreos from Trader Joe's called Joe Joe's Chocolate Vanilla Cream flavored with other natural flavors. Oh, okay. I didn't need to read that part, but yeah. So the packaging looks really cute. I really like the two colors, but I also like how it's also just blue and white. Just a yeah. different shade of blue. And the packaging for like the bigger pack of Oreos are also like this. But then you can rip it open like right here. It's right here. Oh. It says See? it's right here. It's such a knockoff. It's exactly the same. No, it's not. It's not? The Oreos Wait, you're right. this way. You're right. Okay. So this one's in a different orientation. But that's all we can say. <laughs> oh, but you notice how some of the cream is like shh. Just yeah, struck out. That's why I'm taking this one. Okay, so look at the print. I don't know if you can see the print. The print's pretty cool, but it looks like the Oreo print without the word Oreo in there. Okay, we've definitely had knockoff Oreos before, but it wasn't from Trader Joe's. I wanted to point out that the cream is like squirting out and it's not like a perfect circle like in Oreos. Are Oreos that perfect though? Because mine's is like not squirting out, but it's slightly slanted. Whoa. <laughs> look at that. So far, it looks pretty similar. I wanna say, I ate them kind of separately. The cream is the same. Tastes nearly the same. But the cookie? The cookie's a little different. The cookie's slightly less sweet, I wanna say. Yeah, it's less chocolatey. I would say I would get this again because I low-key actually like this a little more than the Oreos. Okay, I ate the rest of my cookie and now I wanna take it back and say I still like Oreos better. I think I like Oreos better too, because the taste of the cookie okay. is just not chocolatey enough. Yeah, I think that's the only thing, but even the cream itself is like slightly less sweet. So the next thing we're going to try are knockoff Pringles, except they're from two different places. This one I also got from Trader Joe's. Actually, most of the stuff I got today are from Trader Joe's because they have a lot of knockoff. Like, if you check their cereal aisle, there's nearly just all of it. Anyways, this is from Trader Joe's. It's sea salt potato. This one I got at Target and it's the Good Crisp Company. So it seems like a family company. When I was growing up, this was my favorite flavor. The inside's exactly the same as Pringles. Wow. I'm gonna try this one first because I like Oh, tastes exactly the same. Not bad. They call this guilt-free crisp. What do they mean guilt-free though? I don't get guilt-free. It's just gluten-free, not guilt-free. <laughs> I think any type of chip is guilty. Gluten-free, soy-free, free, nut-free. I'm gonna give this one a pass. Let's try this one. This one's from Canada. Which one do you think tastes better? That. Yeah. This is more similar to Pringles. I'm not saying this is not good, it's good too, but just not as I think like chips are already salty, but sea salt flavor makes it even more salty. Yeah, I agree with that. Let's do a yeah, cereal. cereal, yeah. But Yay. which one? You wanna do that one? you yeah. you seem excited about this one. I was excited about this cereal because it's called Trader Joe's Honey O's. And in case you can't tell, I guess these are knockoff Cheerios, the honey flavor ones. Sweetened whole grain oat cereal with honey. Let's see if they look like Cheerios. They have to. Wow. They look slightly bigger. It's funny how even the box is yellow. Let's try it. 
Mm, here, you try it first. How? I don't know, just like that. I feel like it tastes the same. Are you sure this is not just Cheerios repackaged into Honeyos? I think they taste a little less weedy. This is actually pretty good. Three. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Can you guys guess what this knockoff is? So I actually looked online for this one to see what kind of knockoff it is. They're supposed to be knockoff Takis. How do you knock off a Takis? I don't know. Just roll up a tortilla chip. Rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. Not just Takis then? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Okay, but I think Takis are gonna be a little hard to beat because Takis are like extremely spicy. We tried the blue Takis. Yeah, we did. This is what it looks like inside. It's not spicy enough, I can already tell. I know. And there's one that's like unrolling. Oh, I want the unrolling one. Okay, so the color is way too light. It's also orangey compared to reddish. Ooh, it's really sour, quite sour. The sourness is like the same as the Takis, I want to say, but the spice is just not really there. I like the limeness. I'm just making up words now, okay? So it's probably not something I would get again. Next one, pirate booties. Except Trader Joe booties. It says world's puffiest, but I don't think so. It doesn't look like the world's puffiest. Not even puffy. World's puffiest. What it about says Cheeto puffs? World's puffiest white cheddar naturally flavored corn puffs. Oh, I guess they cleaned it for the white cheddar part. They taste kind of like pyro booties because of the white cheddar, but it's still not there yet. The flavor's a little light. Whoa, that's such a big piece. I feel like I still prefer the pirate booties. Pirate booty's still the best. Next thing on our list is actually the one and only candy item of everything. These are smart sweets, which are knockoff Swedish fish. So let's just try it. Next time I should get their brand of knockoff um, Sour Patch Kids. Oh, I can smell it. Right? It's really strong. Whoa! It's actually pink! So this is actually pink. It's it's appearing a little red on screen, but if you like put it through the light, it's actually like very, very pink. It's like dark pink. Just it's like this color. Literally. Oh wow. It is. It's exactly the same. I don't like the texture. The texture is completely different from Swedish fish. Swedish fish tastes it's like a matte texture, kind of. Mm -hmm. Satin. This, satin. Yeah. This is going to stick to your teeth. Yeah, it's all over my teeth. But it is not that sweet. That's true. The taste is also nearly completely different. Swedish fish has a slightly plasticky, is it like a plasticky kind of taste to it? This one's completely strawberry flavored. Look at the size difference. Look at how thick this one is. Look at how thin this one is weird like half of them are thick and half are thin this one and swedish fish are like uncomparable they're like the same concept with like a fish gummy but texture is different taste is different the chewableness is also kind of different but i don't really know how to explain it but you cannot compare these two so i feel like there's no better one or worse one for this one because they literally just don't taste the same second to the last item Ta-da! Knock off Cheetos. Cheetos! I'm kind of excited for this one, but I'm also not excited because I usually don't even buy cheddar flavored Cheetos. Yeah, it's boring. Wow. It's also because just the regular Cheeto ones are just too salty. And this one's not. Oh my god. Oh, I like it. I know. Okay, right off the bat, I'm gonna say Trader Joe wins for this one. Like 100% for the cheddar flavor. For the cheddar flavor. They don't even have spicy flavor. I think if they had the spicy flavor, they would definitely lose. Because what I noticed is that their flavors, the spiciness is very like not spicy. And for their salty things are pretty not salty. This is actually really good. Yeah. Moving on to our last item. I assume this one's going to be sweet. It's also a Trader Joe's item. I'm telling you, I bought most of the stuff from Trader Joe's. Wow, they're such a knockoff, like a supermarket. I wonder if they're known to be knockoff. I don't know, things. but I'm noticing they're pretty knockoffy. They have like, they're copycats. I decided for the second cereal that we're gonna try, and we're only really trying two cereals, is the 
crunchy cinnamon square cereal, which is a knockoff of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> is it not? I think so. <laughs> um, I, I always, know. yeah, because I think it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Because sometimes I call it Captain Crunch and it's not Captain Crunch. Anyways. Yeah. This doesn't look like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say what she said in Allie's regular words. This looks janky. <laughs> <laughs> she says everything looks janky. This does look a little. And she started saying janky. Oh, okay. And it made me say it for like everything. The smell is not there yet either. You should feel the bag. It feels funny. Why is it like. It feels very light. Why is it so like thin too? <gasps> Never mind. Oh, it's so thin. What do you think? It's like sweet. It's like, like there's sugar all over my fingers now. I think the original's better. I don't really eat cinnamon toast crunch. I don't either, but I had it before. Okay, well. I want another Oreo. I wouldn't buy this cereal again. It's not bad. Like when I say I wouldn't buy it again, it doesn't mean any of the products are bad because they actually all taste pretty decent and pretty good. It's just whether I like personally like the original better or if it's even something that I would eat. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is actually we're just gonna say which one's our favorite item out of everything here that we tried that are knockoff. I have two favorites, I guess. I'm guessing it's these two. Yeah. The Cheetos and I guess the Oreos. I was gonna say this is my favorite one and if I had to choose a second one, I'm guessing the fake pirate booties. Yeah, I guess. I kind of like this too, but it's just sticking to my teeth. But anyways, that kind of brings us to the end of today's video. I'm down to do a part two sometime in the future because there's actually a lot more different knockoffs. I'm gonna stop talking and please check out my sister's channel. The link will be in the description box down below. Anyways, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next week. Bye.